What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, come in, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, we will be doing a cartoon head. I got my beard in my mouth. We will be doing another cartoon head, man. I got a customer that just purchased a cartoon head from me today. So let's go ahead and knock this thing out, man. So the first thing I do, I drag the picture inside of Adobe. If you know me. Drag our picture inside here, stretch it out by holding shift so it don't like distort it or uh, change like warp it you know what i'm saying let me see let's make it big so we can see it and then we're gonna drop the opacity down yeah that's cool right there just good enough to see our line work on the top of it i'm using the digital art tablet i'm using the wacom cintiq cintiq i said cintiq i'm using the wacom cintiq so that's how i'm able to get the pressure option if you ain't got no digital art tablet, you won't be able to get these options you finna see me do. So what I do is I hit this drop down menu, I go to new brush, and I click OK. And then right here, pressure. But you gotta have the digital art tablet to get this option. So I go to pressure, and I change these two bottom numbers to three. And that's how I get that, that brush that y'all see me use on all my videos. Well, if I press down hard, it'll give me a thick line. And if I press light, it'll give me a thin line. You know what I'm saying? It just responds to what I really do with my hand. So, let's go ahead and make our brush a little bigger. And what we gonna do, I'm gonna approach this picture different. I normally, I normally start with the nose and eyes, but we gonna start with the outline. We're gonna start with the outline first. So let's go ahead. Let's do the whole entire outline of the picture. And like I say on all my videos, man, you should invest into your digital art tablet, man. It's gonna make doing digital art more fun telling you it changed the game for me when I first got a, a digital art tablet from using uh you know how you start out with you just using your mouse and stuff like that you're gonna really love doing digital art once you invest in one of these so so yeah do our bowl some bowl outline Trying to move pretty quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Bring this on over like that. I see where it go. I'm like OCD when it come to Alright Got that right there man For some reason I always gotta Turn the eye off on the uh, Original photo Just so I can see where I'm at Go ahead and draw this ear. So, start it right here. Bring it down like that. Make sure your lines closed off. You see how I'm making sure I ain't leaving no openings. Make sure I close the gaps off so the paint won't 
escape out my picture when I'm doing my color. Okay, bring this over like this. Bring this like that. Bring it back. Okay. Cool, it's good, man. Go ahead and start on the eyes. Make my breast to a one point. The same thing on this side. And it's very pixelated, but sometimes you just gotta you gotta improvise, man. It ain't that bad. I can still see. Still see where the line's supposed to be. You feel me? Just like that. I'm bringing this over. Okay. Slowly coming together, guys. Slowly. But I made that lip. I made that lip a little too. And I still got to connect these lines. See these little gaps I left open? I'm just trying to get a, a nice little quick layout of everything. And then we're gonna go back and make sure we connect our lines. Okay. It's cool like that. Pretty decent. Go ahead and close these eyes off real quick. Make sure we close this off. Got the eyes closed on. Let's go ahead. Oh snap. I'm running this up a little bit like that. And just like I say, man, on all my videos, you will get better. In due time, man, you just gotta put the grind in. The more you do it, the easier it'll get to you. So, you make my brush back like bigger to a, a three point. flowing today man we just going with the flow today let's see got this like that okay take my quick step back see how i'm looking okay it's coming together man Draw the butt of this gun real quick. And it's down. Right 
that. See, I don't went over the line a little bit. Then curve it like that. Go ahead. Close this off like this. We ain't gonna make this shirt all the way black. But we don't want it to blend in with his beard. So I know what we're gonna do. Also, let me go ahead and. I kind of see this line right here. Okay. That's where the wrinkles at. Uh-oh, make this big uh, three-point. So we can get a bold outline. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing, just a bold outline for his shirt. You know what I'm saying? Also, we need to we'll go ahead and draw this watch and this rest of his arm. We gotta do our drip effect too. So, so I'm gonna do. Pretty much got the base of the got the base of the cartoon down, man. Feel me? Now what we gonna do? We gonna do our drip. Little something, something, man. We almost finished with. We almost finished with the line work. Just gotta make sure we do our thing. Once you start selling your artwork, you know what I'm saying. You got a lot of customers coming in. Always make sure you do your best, man. Cause you want to keep them coming back that's how you stay in business you stay in business by making sure you do good work so just keep that in mind once you start making money doing art always do good work so you can stay making money so you can stay getting clients you know what I'm saying? Good business, meaning when you do good business, that's longevity. You're going to be in it for the long run. You do bad business, 
and you ain't really putting your all into the artwork for your customers, they ain't gonna stick around, you know what I'm saying? So always keep that in mind. Once you start making money of doing art and you got a lot of customers come in, treat every picture like it's your last, you know what I'm saying? Do some good work. Like that. I wanna do it. Okay, I see it. You got the little thing on the gun. That go up like this. Cool, cool, it's good. We gotta close this ear out too. I'm bring that down. Also, let me go ahead and make the sticker. So we won't have no problems when it's time to color. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, bring this in. Okay, cool. See how we looking. Okay, we looking good so far, man. Now what we about to do Let's go to our pencil tool real quick. Make sure your settings look exactly like you see here on my pencil tool. Hit OK. Move this black color to the top and goddamn make sure the uh make sure this bottom is locked. Cause what we finna do, we finna use this pencil tool as a fill tool. So let's start filling in the areas. Fill all this in. Um, like that. Okay. We just gotta bring this up. So I'm gonna follow this little line right here. Bring it on up. Then I'ma just do the little, little hair fit like this. Let's give it some texture. You know what I'm saying? Bring it just like this. Okay. Cool. Step back real quick. Bring this on on the cross. Bring this down like that. And now we in there. What we need to do? Gonna fill this area in right here. And I just go through my picture and fill in all the black areas. Cool. Right here, do the same thing. Fill that in like that. And we're gonna fill that watch in too. Gonna fill this watch in. Some, some, some. Okay. Let's fill this area in. Around the trigger. Like that. Bring this soul. Just like that. We making progress, man. One thing I need to do. 
Need to bring this opacity up on this picture. Just a little tad so I can see. More little details that I may be missing. Okay. Now that we got that pulled up, let's go back to our pencil tool. We're gonna add the eyebrows. foundation down we're gonna go back and you know we're gonna clean it up more See, I love using this pencil tool. It help you cover a lot of ground, man. In a short amount of time. brush tool and on top of that we're gonna add some here so we can fill it in a little bit more so basically I use that pencil tool just for like a background then I come on top of it with the brush and add the details over like this okay I'm pretty much good to go in that spot take a little step back see how we looking cool that's giving you a realistic as far as the hair above his lips now we're gonna come up here we're gonna we're gonna feel this in too. So it ain't that noticeable. I'm gonna add some, some hairs around it. So to give you that illusion, you know what I'm saying? face you know oh wait i'm missing all these make this come up a little bit like that also make this come over you gotta pay attention to all the little detail I'm 
go ahead and make this connect so we won't have no openings. So make sure you closing your lines off so you won't have no problems when it's time to do the coloring thing. draw his gums so, so all we're gonna do is this right here okay cool everything looking dope Looking sharp. We just trying to make it a little sharp, man. Now let's draw this brown. Got him a nice looking brown. Also, draw. Got brush a little bigger, like a two point. And we're gonna get this. Get some random hairs. Make it look more natural. put in it the better the turnout to be man okay should I put that line there or should I make it known with the shadows mm. I think it's all right to be there yeah we'll leave it there but
Everything. Everything looking right, man. Futuristic, man. Right? We about to finish with the line work. So now we can pretty much work our way over to the coloring process. So I put that little, yeah, I'm gonna put that little white uh, piece of paper that's inside the hat. My lines closed off. That's why I always zoom in. I be like, man, I hope I ain't got nothing open or the painter leak out. But you always want to go through check. Now what that did, all we really have to do, we add a couple of little more wrinkles here. About to god dang, start the coloring process now. That's one more thing I need to do. Let me go back to my Pencil tool, move this color to the top, and we're gonna put our little 3D behind the drip. Broski, I'm going to hit you right back, bro, as soon as I finish this video. All right. your lines it'd be easier to go back and follow in the inside of it that make any sense y'all see what I'm doing though ok 
Okay, cool. We are officially. Oh, I'm glad I said that. I mean, seen that. Let's see. Almost been looking crazy. I'd have been like, man, why? I ain't closed at all. my pencil tool and he got like army fatigue on the on his hat so I'm gonna just go ahead and do the little the little black marks and that's in that style Trust me, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fire, man. It's gonna be fire when your boy finish with it. Okay, cool. Got that like that. Let's put another shadow inside this little area right here. And we good. Line work not finished, man. Oh, wait, 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 it ain't finished. We gotta do the little gun. It's supposed to be black. And then, this little area here. Let's come on up. Bring that down like that. finish wait how in the world did this happen okay I don't know how it happened but it's all good okay cool we finished now finished with the line work Okay, now we finish with the line work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight everything, go to object, expand appearance, and click merge on our pathfinder to make all our lines become one. And I'm gonna hold shift shrink it down to size so I can spit it all on the, um, the artboard let me say this just in case something crazy happen like if the computer crash or something I ain't gotta do it all over now after we did that we're gonna make a copy of our line work lock the top copy now I'm gonna go get my color palette I'll put that link in the description if you wanna buy one. The Chi World Color Palette, $10. Let me see. Let me go get it off my desktop. And where did I save it at? Oh, it's right there. Okay. I gotta do double click it. Chi World Skin Tone, double click it, and it's right in there. 
drag it over here. I think that's his skin tone right there. Uh oh. Okay. All I would have to do is right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. So we can send the color behind the line work. You'll know if you did that step right, if you look at your layers at the brown, you'll see your line work sitting on top of the colors. After that, you wanna highlight everything and merge it all together. So now we just made the line work and the color become one with each other. So I'm finna right click it, isolate, select group. So every area that's closed off is its own group so I can do whatever I want to. So I'm gonna click this outer color and delete it. And since it's isolated from everything else, it's only gonna delete what's outside of that. If he hold shift and click this shirt, and change that to a black. You know what? I'm gonna just do it like this. Okay, cool. Now I wanna make that a little brighter. I wanna make this shirt that black. Okay, that's cool. Another thing we're gonna do, you see these colors in the hair? The easy way to work around it, we're gonna double click our color layer right here. Hit this drop down menu again, stroll down till you see your last black line work and lock all the black line work. Only the black lines. See, I lock all that. Keep the top two unlocked and I close it back. So now, it won't let me select my black line so I can select the colors without messing up my black line work. So I select, select group. So now I can select that. Get my dropper tool. You see what I'm saying? It's just easy to work around when it's not selecting it. Okay. Got all that. Now let's delete this. Delete all this right here. I'm gonna change his teeth and his eye color. So I'm holding shift so I can select all this at one time. And there we go. And change his lip, isolate, select group. Change his lip color. This is eye color. Right here, right this little area. Go ahead and change his gums. See that color palette come in handy. I just move quick. Just grab something, grab a color I like, and get out of there. This hat. Change this to red. Change this to 
Nah, you know what color I should've did? I should've did this brown. Like the army brown. Some, some tweaks to it. It's coming together, man. Go ahead and change the color of this gun. Change the color of the strap. It's like this color. Time to start shading, my boy. Okay, we're gonna make this same color as his shirt. Just watch that part of it. Then we're gonna make this color. to make a copy of my color layer lock the bottom copy turn the eye off on the bottom copy and in the copy in the center we're gonna delete only the skin color out of that layer you know what I'm saying so we can be able to do our shadows and stuff so only go through and delete Skin color. Okay. I deleted all this. See, if I want to lock that the line work, I would have had to go through and delete things like this to make sure I ain't make a mistake and delete the line work. But since I locked it, I can work around it much easier. You know what I'm saying? Go work around it quicker. Okay, bet. Now we delete it. Delete the skin tone color. Now I'm gonna turn the eye back on on my bottom layer and create a new layer and put it in between those two. So now we can start doing our shading and it'll fall go to my pencil tool and it'll fall right behind it. You see what it's doing? Yeah, that's what we wanted it to do. I'm about to start shading, man. And just like I said, to get better at doing shadows, just take practice. Everything you do, art related and really life related, man, you just gotta work at it. Whatever you wanna get better at, you just gotta put in that work. Okay, bring this up like this. Bring this over. Just like 
that. So.
and there you have it you guys how to make a cartoon head make sure you stay tuned more heat coming soon and we out this thing